Okay, I'm just gonna check the mute sound. That's a good sound. <laughs> okay. Hello. Welcome. I'm back again. Squishy British. And we're gonna try and finish off Brembo if we can. I'm hoping. Because I have the whole entire evening, so let's go. So we just come out of a, a, a Thursday and now we're trying to get home by following some pills. Oh, and now we're captured. Oh no, I shouldn't have touched the pills. Bad friend. Bad. And now, we can cut our way out. There we go. Ta-da! Fran, you're already here? Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. And as I see it, you're not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I am Edward, your faithful friend. Edward? Do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes, I am the creature of the night. We've been playing together. I helped you to get Mr. Midnight back, you see. Really? Huh. I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey. Aren't you the one who made the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They only believed it was me. You see, but that's because they never looked in, into themselves. What, you, what do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blamed me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. But let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Don't you reckon my, recognize me, dear Fran? The long man with the top hat. I always came by night and told you so stories when you were just a little baby. I came to you after you imagined me. But I am not imaginary, you see. I am part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar, yes, I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. The truth is that you were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have to time to talk about that right about this right now. I am actually here to take you home. Follow me. Take me home. I can't let you do that. I don't know you. I won't hurt you. I am not made out of darkness. I am your friend. Mm. Alright. You seem nice. I'll go with you. But I don't trust you yet. That's fine. Come, now. Come on now. I have something to show you. Behold, the Itward flying machine. What do you think? I love it. It has so many buttons to push. Yes, with this gorgeous, gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I arrange the details. Besides, it's not 2.35 yet. That sounds great. But what is it about 2.35, sir? I don't understand. It's when time becomes slower. This gives us a chance to enter the alter reality. Inside the alter reality, we can travel wherever we want to go. 
Right now, we're standing at the endless limits of the second reality. But you're part of the third reality. Do you understand? Yes, I do understand. It sounds insane. But sir, should I just wait until you're done fixing the machine? Wait. Of course not. You can help by getting water and fire berries, alright? Alright. It's better to do something than nothing at all, I guess. Right. Here is my amazing handmade bucket for the, for the water I made myself. Ah, the fire berries. You'll realize which berries to pick because they are, are a fire. Alright, but sir, can I just ask why do you need the berries and the water? Ah, well, the berries are incredibly good fuel that lasts many, many hours. And the water is to get rid of the dirt, the kamalas. Oh, Kamalas. I see. I hope they don't come near the flying machine. We never know. But we do know that they don't like water, yes? Oh, darling. I almost forgot your medicine. You need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see. Here. Invisible to my eyes? Hmm. I see. Well, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Oh, yes. About that, I'm sorry. I needed to get your attention somehow. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap in, like, one second. Anyway, I'll go get the fire berries and the water. I'll be right back. Great. I'll be preparing the machine. There's some berries. I'm a bean eater. You know, great, great stuff. It's not worrying. <laughs> Light. Nothing. And next one. Get out, get out, you're trespassing on my territory. Huh? Excuse me, I thought you were dead. How could you possibly think that? You had no manners, young lady. I'm very sorry, but you seem to... seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me? Rotten and bloody? I think you're misunderstanding the situation. Why did you, why did you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose? I'm not a moose, I'm a deedle worm. Excuse me? A deadly worm? No, no, no. Not a deadly worm. A deedle worm. I don't go around killing creatures. I just return to the soil what creatures took from it and I don't need any more. But I only see a talking moose. Where, where are you? Down here, creature. Can't you see me? There you are. You're so tiny. Hello, my name is Fran. Hello, Fran. Can I ask why did you touch the moose in the first place? Normally only scavengers touch dead animals. Are you one of them? Of course not. I was just trying to see if I could climb onto it to reach the fire berries. I see. I think it's possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fire berries are on fire. You might hurt yourself. Yes, I see the fire, but I have to get them somehow. Good luck with that. Hold on, I'll keep working. Thank you, sir. Hi! Thank you. To be honest, I didn't realize that it, it's today. Is it today? <laughs> but hooray for me. Another year. I think that's three now. Three years I've done it. It's 
So it's a while. Hello, uh, those tiny. Th I can't read today. Are those shiny insects that get stuck on trees because you're curious? We usually get stuck, yes. How do you know this? You're not one of us. I met some of your kind before. I helped them to get free of their curiosity. Aha, that's very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. Yes, I think curiosity is a good thing. But are you stuck? Not at all. We're just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Wow, that sounds amazing. Good luck. I have to go now. Bye. But I need to get water. Now, could I ask? Uh, I need help, please. Would you let me tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? Tie it. Tie it. <laughs> Can't speak. Tie a bucket to our hair? Why, that sounds insane. Oh, it's not insane at all. I need water from underneath, from under the cliff, cliff but I can't reach it. I need to use your long, beautiful hair as a rope. Please help. All right, we'll help you. Tie the bucket real tight. Oh, thank you. You're very nice. Fill up the whole bucket, please. The bucket is now full of water. Oh, thank you, shiny insects. I have to go now. I have to go home. Home is a place where we all wish to belong. But does home belong somewhere? What? I'm sorry, I didn't really understand the question. It was rhetorical. I just wanted to say that you are your own home. Welcome yourself inside. You'll find many doors to open. Oh, that sounds mysterious and beautiful. I'll try to do that some other time. Bye. I haven't seen those um, emotes in such a long time. I'm so used to my own. Just climbing on this. Right, I can either cut it or I can trickle some water on it and then cut it. Got it. So, I brought the fireberries, but they're not on fire anymore. Magnificent. These will do just fine. Thank you very much, darling. And water. So, it would. Here's the bucket of full water. I got help from the shiny insects. You mean the lucifers? They're nice, yes, but only when you see them in this reality. They're very dangerous if you ever see them in the fifth reality. They can burn you. Wow. Burn me. Well, I haven't got, gone into the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. What's reasonable there may be the worst thing you'll ever experience. Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, Fran. Ah, Fran. It's two, 2.34. 
The journey is about to begin. Let's get inside the machine. Okay. It's 2.36. There's a high probability of reaching the target in good condition. We'll be soon we'll soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited, Fran? Maybe I'd be more excited if I understood more about real realities. You'll soon understand. The answers aren't easy to recognize. Huh? That sounds strange to me, sir. Time proceeds, and it is has to be in an order you, for you to be alive. It all, if it all happens now, you probably explode. Are you telling me that the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? Not exactly. You know what? I'd rather say, through time, you must explore and experience to understand. That means the answers will come when you find them, not when others tell you or how or where to find them. Ah, I see. Well, I'm excited now. You're welcome by curiosity. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious and you'll always be amazed. But now, Fran, we have to go get things done. Talking will get you home. What things, sir? The machine needs some maintenance, and I think you do incredible work. Here are the fireberries and the water you gathered before. You'll need them to get the fuel mixed and the water pump working again. You'll find all the information you need when you enter the room to the left. But feel free to enter room any room you wish. I'll be quite busy fixing the automatic driver. But if you have something to ask, I'll be here. I've never done anything like this before. That makes it more exciting. Have fun, my darling. Alright, I'll go now. Ready? In a world made of darkness and light, two little sisters tried to steal each other's charm, but neither side could decide if what they were was just right. Mia was angry and Clara was sad. 
and this was because they both were mad. Oh, insane little girls. Inside of their minds. Edward, the creature of the night. He was, he always came around in dreams or reality, teaching the girls the splendor of duality, but they couldn't understand. It would, what was a friend? It would, was the link between darkness and light. He was gray. Clara and Mia one day decided to get rid of Itward once and for all. Die, creature of the night, die, they said. But they killed each other instead. Dead and gone. The sisters kept complaining about each other. It's all your fault, Clara. It's all your fault, Mia. Then it would came to visit for the last time. And he said, You are both trapped in a world of disconnections. But I'll give you a chance. The world has been mean to you. They sewed your bodies together to prove that they could. They gave you a mirror to compare yourselves. I'll give you nothing but what you already have and just one tiny little chance. To understand the purpose of life. But the clock is ticking. You have until the day a black cat goes missing. And the well's magic door is unlocked. The end. was a lot. this one go? Thank <laughs> you. 
tape. This mood to do it. Take that and do that. Do this. Match. This is the complex part. Thank you. 
I miraculously did it. That's okay. I, I was a little bit stuck. <laughs> I don't like this puzzle, so I don't I don't always uh, understand it. Fran, I finally managed to fix the automatic driver. Do you need any help? I think I managed it quite well. I did all you asked of me. That worked very well, Fran. Everything seems to be working perfectly. Yes, everything looks absolutely great. What should we do now, sir? Well, I wanted to ask if you're afraid of rabbits. There's a little rabbit in one of the rooms. And I'm deeply afraid of it. Would you like to help me get rid of it? rabbit. I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. With all the things I've been- I've seen, I can't just imagine one kind of rabbit. Is it a chocolate rabbit? Or one with horns and killer eyes? <laughs> You'll have to see for yourself. It has a pink nose and a blue boots. It's just saying there. Not blinking. No movement. It's just staring all the time. It does sound very scary, so... But show it to me. Otherwise, I'll never know. Brave you are, dear. Follow me. See? It's just sitting there. Isn't it strange behaviour? From what I see, it's just a toy, sir. It doesn't move. Would you, would you try, please try to make contact with it? I don't dare touch it. Alright, sir. I'll take the rabbit and show you there's nothing to be afraid of. See? It's just a fluffy rabbit, nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, friend. There's nothing to be afraid of. What? Don't come, Mr. Midnight. This is not funny. Yes, it is a point and click puzzle game. Um, there's another game called Little Miss Fortune that we're going to play after this one. Uh, it's like same kind of vibe except it's actually got narration so you don't have to worry about my poor talking but this one doesn't have narration so you know I gotta get my voices out This is also puzzle. Yeah, yeah, there's not many of these types of games uh, anymore. these down before we do anything else because I know what this game is like. Hmm. 
Nej. Are you? Subtle. You know, I'm not even on pills. to go get a coat. Ready? That was one. So that was two. So that's five this way. Eight that way. Nine that way. That's five, that was nine. Two was five forward. Three was nine backwards. And three was eight backwards. Why have I got nine? Eight backwards. One was eight forward. Eight forward. Four is six forward. Nine backward. That's where I'm getting the nine from. Five is nine backward. And then 
three is eight backwards. So. I think I got it. was one, two, three, four, five. And then three was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then four was one, two, three, four, five, six. And then five is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm a pro. Surprise, friend! Happy birthday! Oh, a birthday party. the dog with me. Why not? Big Marty dog. Big Marty puppy. This one is I see that and you leave. you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight, you lied to me. We lied in order to divert your attention in another direction. I'm very sorry I had to f fool you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear Fran. Come and eat cake. All right. Thank you, Kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, Itwood. I like how much of a 180 from from the can do in like two minutes. The cake is made of all your favorite ingredients. Mr. My Midnight told me which ones. Cat food. <laughs> and we have something very special for you from all members of the ship. That means all of us naturally born or handmade beings. Here you go. I hope you find it educational. It's a cat! Wow, I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Yes, go ahead. Open it. It's a cat with a hole. Wow, a cat doll. 
Oh, thank you so much. I love it. It's beautiful. It may give your eyes a new per perception, you know, like the ultra reality. Is that what happens when I take the red pills, sir? Is the ultra reality what I see? Well, it depends. Would you like an explanation? Not really, to be honest, but you know, go on. Look, what you've seen is a mixture of different realities. And the ultra reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. For example, at these exact coordinates of time and space, we're having a birthday party. But in the ultra reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, or just invisible to the human eye. Because of time, humans can define past, present, and future. Defining things encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. You have a different perception of the environment. It's not linked to definitions. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not sure, sir. I think... Maybe I feel a bit dizzy. <laughs> that might be the ship going up and down. Blow on the candles now, dear. We're about to reach our destination. You mean we're about to go home? Did you hear that, kitty? Yes, we're about to arrive. Really? Wow, how exciting. Alright, here I go. Oh no, 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 no. Oh dear, what's happening, Mr. Midnight? Are you alright? I'm alright, but I hope the ship doesn't break. It sounds dangerous. Fran, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalas. There's one left alive. You have to get rid of it. Find it fast. How do I do that, sir? Water that cleans away the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, it may be hiding from your eyes. Oh my goodness, Kitty. I'm scared. Me too, my Fran. We have to find the Kamala. I hope wa the water d destroys it. Let's go. Up. Nope. Fine. I think I remember what I have to do. going I think I finally got rid of the Kamala. I'm the best, I should go back to Itwood.
Edward, sir, we did it. The Kamala is gone. It's gone, yes, but it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We're going down. No, please, don't tell me this. It's not fair. It's not fair. I will always take care of you, my dear. And the ship kept going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. The end. But that's a very sad ending, it would. Tell me another story, please. Alright, this is the story of Frambo and me. When she promised never to forget me or about the magic of everything. <laughs> I promise it would. I'll never forget you. Good. Now it's time to sleep. Expect me in your dreams, my friend. Doctor's prescription. Edward? Oh. Kitty, we're still alive. We survived the crash. Oh dear, yes. We're alive. But Edward is gone. But he brought us home. We're just outside of tan town, Fran. I can smell it. Are you sure, Kitty? Are we already home? I thought you'd be happy about this. What is it? It's just that I wondered, wonder where Edward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you can take the medicine to see him again. Yes, Kitty, but I took all the pills already, see? The bottle's empty. Anyway, let's go home. Maybe Edward will come to see me someday. Maybe. Oh my goodness, this is our street, Kitty. Hey, it's street. Yes, it is. And here we are. This looks much more grey than I remember. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. At least we're at home, Kitty. Thank you for helping me, my friend. We did it together, my darling. Aunt Grace, hello. Maybe she's not at home, dear. Do you have the key to get inside? No, I don't have it, Kitty. But I know where the hidden key is. I just need to remember where. Let's find it. A note says I took the key. Fran? Well, that's me. And I didn't write that note. Oh, that's the window to my room. Come here, Kitty. You must climb through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it? That sounds very strange. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now, in order to get inside, Kitty, you must climb up and open the door for me. Ah, all right then. Where should we look? You can do it, Kitty. Be careful. I 
dare not. Well, why would you send your own cat? Mr. Man Knight, do you hear me? Kitty, open the door. Bran? I can't believe it. You're alive. Where were you? Get away from me. I won't go back to the asylum. I've been looking for you for a long time. How did you escape? I escaped through the yellow door, sir. Hmm. But why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Min Midnight is inside now. He climbed to the second floor window, sir. Mr. Midnight? Is that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end. So, may I ask why you're here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me then. No, I won't. I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat is in the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He's inside. He'll open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. I'm sorry, Fran. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about this? This feels so wrong. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I found things that I don't want yet understand. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Family murder on Hay Street. The bodies were perfectly sliced. Martin and Lucia Bow, Dagenhart, were found early this week, brutally murdered in their residence of Hay Street. The investigating police officer, Marco Hulu, said, it seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick, instantaneous death. Also, there was no sign of a struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back. The police in interrogated, interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucia's twin sister, but the police didn't find any use, uh, useful information. The youngest in the family, Fran Beau, was found in the woods one day after her parents murdered. She froze to death. Dear Gladys, let the newspaper know about Fran Beau. She was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding about her parents' murder. Fran is now free from all pain. We hope you re reunite with your family in heaven. But I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I also found out that your medicine was switched. You were good if given a new variant of duotine. When I looked in at it in the la laboratory, the levels of ectoplomatin were too high. That can't be good. Ectoplomatin creates a door between the, the consciousness and subconscious's mind. The problem is, if the ectoplasm Please stop. I'm, I can't say that word. The door will open too wide. And that can create confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I'm a bit confused, yes. 
That's because of all the new things I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra reality too, and also travel to other worlds. Ultra reality? That must be the be an effect of the duo team, nothing more. That's not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you say. Then I may be able to control it. I mean that you're imagining things, that's all. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arm hurts. Oh, did your father hurt you with his knife, doctor? What? Who told you that? You did. Or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, then it's true. Oh, please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who's behind all this. The nurses? Oswald? Who knows? I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Remor. He took my parents and now he's hunting me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I had stayed in Earthster with Pelotronis and the Great Wizard. What are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Itwit or P Pelotronis. And my kitty is all alone. Pelotronis, Itwit, please, Fran. Pelotronis is the doctor of Earthster. He's a flying creature, very fluffy, sir. And Itwit is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. It seems like it seems you've been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good at all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw mother and father too. The twins? What twins? The girls who were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of Clara and Mia. The two girls in the asylum who claimed to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward. I think you're misunderstanding, sir. It's Itward. But what happened to those girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewed them together. Mostly to see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. That's awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me, so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to the, the to, to the those responsible for this disgrace. Thank you, Doctor. Maybe Pelotronis was right about you. You're not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. Here we are. But this is a cemetery, so what are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. Yeah, oh, let me just, you know, look inside your car, get a crowbar, and uh, tear up your seat. I can't do that yet. Fine. I won't. This is your parents' resting place and also yours. Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean by right, So, I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we'll have justice. Use the law to punish such behaviours and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir, and with what you did, you need my help. To find clues and evidence, we need to open the coffins. 
Alright, sir. I'll help you. Maybe the Dita worms came already. Huh? Hmm. Anyway. We have to find a shovel. I'll go left and you go right. I'll see you right here in a few minutes, alright? Yes, Dr. Dean. I'll see you soon. Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio. I'm Fran. Hello, little pine cone. What? Oh my goodness, a giant! Oh, please, don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see. Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way. The tribe's collector. The tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now we're trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather? Hmm. Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the teetal worms wanted it back. So we're looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you find the la that leather. Um, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? Depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that. Or we could just help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door. Alright, giant miss? And we'll see what we can do. Which means I'm going back to the car. Please, let me do it now. Thank you. Why didn't you let me do it before? There you go. What a beautiful sight to see. Wow, thank you, giant miss. Our tribe, the Pinesealers. I'll open the door. Just a sec. Ouch. Are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? I'm... I'm alright. Miss, yes. Good. Well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Hey, Fabio. Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio. Wait for me. I have the leather. Thing in here that we can use. There you are, friend. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Okay. This is uh, just casual grave digging of the dead me. And, uh, you know. Well, now we'll have to find something to open the coffins. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed it to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, friend. But you can do the honors of opening the coffins. Great, you just let me open my own coffin, my cat's ca coffin, and my parents' coffin. Sure. I need the coffins specifically, please. Do it properly. Move a little bit. Why negative? It said use the crowbar. 
I'm using crowbar. Because I have to really a single time. Kitty. Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad doing this, seeing my parents like this. Also, the dead, that dead cat isn't my cat. They're lying. Fran, I told you your cat was missing, and maybe this is, this one is your actual cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home. I'll show you, please. All right, Fran. I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Go back to an empty house. Oh dear. Hello. Vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light. The one you love, the one you respect. And the one you desire to love. You broken little girl. The house of manners invite you inside. If you want to find those you love, in darkness you must wake up. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up. Aunt Grace, is that you? My darling, you've finally woken up. You're at home, my dear. Am I? Really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where is Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But he... What, what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He's a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have someone to blame, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they're not so good. What a good girl. Now rest, my darling. You need it. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things whenever 
when they're untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Miller Knight. Little, little shining frown. Don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shiny frown, go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry and hate. But the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling frown. Oh no, don't leave me here, Aunt Grace. Come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. I hope she's okay, but what should I do now? Crazy sound, it never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said that time is a lead reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time. Or am I just imagining things? But if this but if it's true, how could I make contact with her? Dr. Dean said that everything is in my head. Got a key, hello. That wasn't, you know, them trying to scare me at all. Gosh. And the wind took all the magic dust away. Oh, hello. What are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed, and no, I'm not sick. But you're chained up. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog, and yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Whoa, you're myself. You really are. You think so? Then this means I managed to enter the ultra reality. Did you meet Edward already? He's always talking about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That means you're, you're broken. I'm not broken, why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross into the old reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitations. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. Then who are they?
all the creatures that we can see, the black ones and the white ones. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit once and he told me everything. Oh, can you tell me then why we see things we do? What if I help you unlock the handcuffs first? Then we can talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for th the death of our parents. He was Mr. Midnight. What? That's our kitty's... You know, our best friend. I don't have a cat, I guess it's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock your chains. It so happens that I'm a key, key collector. I'll be right back. Thank you so much, Fran. You really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, Fran, before I forget. Palutron has told me that if we met someday, I should give you this to you. Here, I think it'll help you open something. Yeah, that's, that's uh, Palutronis. You know him too? Well, thank you. Yes, he also told me that if we met, you'd be ready for what's about to come. What? Ready for what? Tell me. Oh no. I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Come on, friend. You must see the doctor now. No, don't go, little friend. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is bad. Bad, bad nurse. She was the one lying to the newspapers about me. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure she, he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. Let's examine. The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and all the boogers were driving me mad. I press it by the ears.
first, twice to the left, once to the right. I rub its only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream, stop whining you little golden box and press your eye again and open the door. So, left, left, right, eye, and then left, and then eye. So, left, left, right, rub its eye, left. I should have done it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two times left. It's Alice.
Excuse me, is somebody down there? Yes, I'm somebody. Hello, have you seen a black cat? No, I haven't seen a cat, but I do see a black thing eating from me. Eating from you? I think it's a Kamala. Are you alright? No, not really. I don't feel very well. I feel sad. I may be able to help you get rid of a Kamala once all by myself. Really, that sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. I need water. Intruder, infiltrator, why would you enter without presenting yourself? I am Akulu, the eye from beyond. Behold my beauty. Oh, I'm sorry. What a big eye you are. You must see very well. I see everything, nothing less. Everything? Can you see my cat? Your cat? How is it possible that... You own a cat. Are you royal, a queen, a princess? No, I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. Friends, how lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier on. It was crying for help from inside a cage. The bear of the cage entered Mabuka's underground. He's still down there inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose, it's very, very dark, black as the deepest night. It's him, that's my friend, Mr. Midnight. I have to go find him. But Mabuka is asleep, waking her up can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. You are brave, and I respect bravery very much. Thank you, Okuha. I am Fram, by the way. I'll see you around. Brush. Light bulb. What's this? Insert button. Yep, I know where the button is. Inside the little house. Yes, I've already got that key. And that's a phone number. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I'm sorry, but I need this key. There are many doors I wish to unlock. Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It'd be hard to get that key without his permission. Reinforced teeth. I see. I'll see what I can do to get them. And who are you, if I may ask? 
Well, I'm Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roboso. Welcome to Mabuka's Den. Mabuka? Who is Mabuka? You don't know who Mabuka is? You don't know? Leave now. Just leave. But Roberto, sir, I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead, so I know. Okay. Okay. Mabuka is the mother of darkness. The darkest of dark. Darkness. The obscurity, the end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. What? Am I in the fifth reality? I thought it Remor was king here. Ah, Remor, the terrible black. The son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should come now. I've said enough. Alright, I'll be back later. Anyway, I must get your friend's key. So... We don't have any more keys. We got some stuff. Uh, how did I get this button off again? I'm sure I got it off with a. Yeah, there we go. I just ended up doing the wrong dress. So I think that's everything. Let's look at me the keys of 103. Oh no, I did get the right direction. Through here. Through the painting. I think I've got to put that back in. And then do the button. And then I can take the, the stuff uh, use. Yep. Mm -hmm. And now I can take it. Wonderful. We're getting there. Uh, down this way. Uh, this. I'm sorry. And that's giving me the right one. Ah. And this is where the soap is. Does the sound of my heart disturb you? It could stop all of a sudden and that would be the end. I don't like thinking about my heartbeat. I just want the soap. Soap? Are you having trouble with your hygiene? Ter yes, terrible with hygiene. I smell like my flesh is rotting inside. That sounds delicious. I don't think that would be a problem. Maybe for you, just let me have the soap for a little while. Alright then, take it, it's all yours. Thank you very much. Be careful with the hijackers, they love children like soap. They eat their babies' bodies and keep their heads up, their beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible. I'll be careful, thank you for the soap, see you later. Excuse me, I really need the key hanging just behind you. Excuse me, but I don't talk to strangers. You don't need to talk, just let me take the key. 
If I chose not to talk to strangers, no listening. Not listening is also part of the deal. How disappointing. I have a question. Are you stuck in this tree? I'm firmly attached to it. Why do you ask? I'm just curious. See you later. I have a hairbrush. Well, it's to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know. Is it dangerous? It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. Alright, let's try it. Alright, just promise you won't burn me, okay? I'd only burn if I was in danger. Be gentle and nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. It worked! What's happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. But how? You're a Lucifer. All Lucifer's I've met do this all the time. Really? Well, then thank you very much. This feel it feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. I can smell it, but I can't reach it. My grabomatic would work here, but I don't have it anymore. Case, working bulb, soap bar, one glove, black wires, piano, wake up clock, bottle with water.
job, I don't feel the sadness anymore. Thank you. Just happy you're feeling better. I do feel better. Let me give something in return. A branch. There's a piece of me. You can plant it if you like. Hope you find it. And back we go to use it as a stick. Flash door. Hello. Creature from above, get out of Mabuka's den. You're not welcome. Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat. I need to wake up Mabuka. Just Mabuka? Mother Mabuka, you arrogant little infant. And how did you plan to wake her up, eh? With crazy ideas of Cogwind? Cogwind is a clockmaker. He's not crazy. Ah, so you know him. I assume you've been to Ithirsta. Horrid place, I say. Too dazzling. Well, that's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you. Your fragile little mind will be safe there with all those boring creatures. I'm going to go now, you wicked tree. My kitty is waiting for me. I don't think there's anything for me to use in here. Beware of Mabuka. The awakened darkness rises from the unknown. I'm sorry to wake you, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Excuse me, but I can answer that myself. I am Fran Bo, human girl, 11 years old, and I am very brave, so, so you know. A human, in my book is turn. That's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Remo. I think he's your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat something? Some sort of red potion or beans? Beans? My pills look like red beans, so yes, I took a whole bottle. Then I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth you seek. 
Thank you, but what power has been unleashed? Can you tell me? The power inside of you. Do you not know? You were selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of, es of essential existence were created parallel with time. What? What are you talking about? The keeper of the key? Who told you that? The great Valakas from Primiv told us everything a long time ago. The keeper will be hunted by the son of darkness after feeding from the red seed. But you're too young, I must say, too young indeed to be the keeper of the key. There's something about you. Did you? Did something obscure happen to you? I think Remor killed my parents, Mother Mabuga. Can you imagine how that feels? I am all those feelings, Rambo. I am everything sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from the desperation and fear. Then you don't care if Remor kills my parents. I thought you were nice. I am curious to know the reason, if that makes you feel better. Now I understand it's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, keep up the keys, be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. Hello. Do I know you from somewhere? You took something from me, didn't you, you little thief? Where's my little needing, knitting needle, eh? Did you stab all your little friends with it? What? A knitting needle? Are you the dead nurse I saw back in Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you, eh, you little beast? Take a number, would you, and wait your turn in the waiting room. But miss, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. Ah, I wonder how long I have to wait now. Hours, maybe days? Ha, ah, I've been waiting for a week now. How long does, how long has everyone else been waiting? Hmm, I've been waiting for like a month. But I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. Excuse me, everyone, but is there a way to make things go faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. By doing that, you could also help all of us. But why don't you become a doctor yourself, then? I can't, because I feel very sick. I can't. My ah, right eye has been blinded. I think I this. I have the this broken horn. You see, I can't be a doctor. I have to be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost the ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. But how, how can you not know? Do you feel pain anywhere? That's a very hard question. Make it softer. How can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Hey, have you tried pulling your ears off? It helps sometimes. Ah, it's impossible to talk sense with any of you. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're not you're not the one who sees it all. You're the only one only known as for a few minutes. That's very limited time to understand it all. Why? Why what does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? Well it helps to better understand each other. We understand each other very well, with our common, with our uncommon sense, anyway. 
Yes, we actually do. We re do respect the differences. Hmm. But who is the one that sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. Now I want to wait, because that talking won't make the waiting go faster. Right, thanks for nothing. But we know who sees everything. And that is Mr. Rival. I hope you find your cat. Uh, can you help me, please? It should work now. Do I have to? Now I should be able to ask. Need your help? Of course you do. What can I do for you? Can you tell me what illness the creature who had taken number two suffers? Is in the waiting room. Waiting. Hmm. Let me see. Ah, I see him. But what? from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by low levels of agony. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry, until you feel this battle will do it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem, and I'm at a very problematic point of, in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home, but now everything is confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking with to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Mabuka said that I was selected for something, but she fell asleep again and I won't and would answer my questions. I need my kitty, Mr. Midnight. Miss Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to a sister and be happy. Mm. Lovely pain. So profound. The bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Go on now. Time doesn't wait for anybody. Down the hole we go. Here, drink this, you'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me. <laughs> How lovely. Let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted. Give me more. Give me more. No. Leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped. Alright. Alright. There you go. Thank you for your tears. Taste absolutely delicious. Now it's number two. Chew. It's not your turn yet. Well, actually... Do you have an appointment? Do you want me to take a number and wait?
Ah, I'm looking. How do I get an appointment then? There's my card with the telephone number. Great, wonderful. Now I gotta go call it quick. I love how this is just making procrastination. Yes, you told me to make a mo an appointment. Um, it's Frambo. I'm available now. Yeah, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute then. Great. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Yes. Bye. Sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Phew, yes, yes, what a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you. I guess now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. You haven't chosen to end your life yet. Isn't the pain you feel enough? You're Remo, aren't you? I haven't had the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be in the third reality for a long period of time. I am Remo, the terrible Balak, Prince of Darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where is my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dean? I immensely enjoyed seeing you suffer, dripping from your eyes. I feed from it. You are the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You're assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night, outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. No, it can't be. Stop it. I didn't do it. I didn't. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before coming a star. My darling, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow. Meow. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Moon Knight? Please don't do this to me. Purr. Talk to me, Mr. Moon Knight. This isn't funny. Isn't this the place? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to a, a Thursday, my darling. Patronus can help us. Words. I promise you nothing will tear us apart again. Oh, 
Kitty, I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dean, alright? He seems to be in trouble. Yoink. Dr. Dean, are you alright, sir? Sir, wake up. Please, Dr. Dean, wake up. Are you alive, sir? Ah, what should I do to wake him up? Electric shock. Damn, what was that? Don't worry, Dr. Dean, it's me, Fran. Ah, what? I can't see you very well. Fran sir, from the Oswald Asylum. We were at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, Fran. Monsters? I don't feel like playing games. Alright. It wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her up. Ah, but I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace? What are you talking? Why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald? From Oswald Asylum? Yes, Fran. The same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnification complexity of twin siblings. Lucinda and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me find keys to success. The key? Hmm. Do you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Remor did a great job. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. Well, I, what I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding that knife after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Remor all the time. But why is he hunting me? Remor is the manifestation of your weakness. A blind and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favour. You are suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. Oswald, please, let's just do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Dear, listen to me. You must know Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucinda was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course. But there's still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. No. No. Kitty. Come on, Fran. Stop weeping. The cat is dead now. But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. Ah, I hate you. Stop it, Fran. Help, help. Please help.
Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. Oh my goodness, she's totally insane. Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. Fran, are you alright? What have you done to her? She tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Dean. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years. Looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. It was. Oh, Fran. Thank you. Everything will be fine. Who? Who are you? I'm Edward. The one with many. The one many children talk about. But, but you're not human. Echo, bro, echo to poor, palatronis, monum, cassis. Goska. It would, I found him. Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl, leave her alone. The cat. Little Fran must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, Mother Mubuka, you took the child's innocence. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in the darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk towards the light. Oh, what happened? It would. Palatronis, my head hurts. Must have my night. How? You're alive, my kitty? I miss you so much. Please tell me something. Fran, we must go now. Go? Alright. Dr. Dean, look, this is it with in Palladronis. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real, see? Do you believe me now? He can't hear you. I think he's under the power of, M of Mabuka now. We really must leave now. But he... Can he come with us, please? He's been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. But what we can do is make him believe that all of this was a dream. He'll wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see. That's okay, I guess. As long as he's safe. That's very kind. You're finally seen beyond your own desire. You are becoming one with everything. Your parents will be very proud of you. Do you really think think so? Oh, thank you, Pelotronis. Now, let's set, send Dr. Jane home. Marcel, Dean, Ocken, that is a Ecuador. Hi, Dr. Dean. Let's go now, Fran. There's so much you m must see and learn. Heh <laughs> heh, that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know. That between guilt and fear, I chose happiness.
This is a jam. Just vibing out. So, that was Frambo. Uh, now that we're finished with that, we'll be going on to Little Miss Fortune uh, for our next uh, video stream. And uh, the other stuff I've got coming up will probably be at the start of next month at some stage. Uh, so I always do two watercolor videos per month. So you'll see those pop up at some stage. <laughs> and uh, I will try and get a few more gaming streams done, I think. Because uh, I'm not, I don't do them as often as the watercolor streams. Because I, I, I'm mainly an art channel. <laughs> But yeah, we, we do a bit of everything, as long as people are happy. Um, so I have links. Uh, so if as long as you type squishy underscore British, you can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook. Uh, you can find me on YouTube. Um, Yeah, and obviously Twitch, which is where you found me. Um, so this Twitch stream will be uploaded to YouTube after I've finished um, altering it and everything. So now that we're finished, I'm just gonna come out of that so I don't hurt my ears uh, for the duration of uh, me finishing up this uh, video. So. Um, at the moment, I have a poll on YouTube open um, that you can voice your opinions on. Um, at the moment, I'm trying to decide what game to play after I finish Little Misfortune because um, it takes a little while for people to respond to my polls on YouTube. So I have a few games that I've been wanting to play um, that I thought would be cool. So if you find me on YouTube, which will be squishy underscore British, and then you can view my channel, go to community and scroll down, or you might just find it when you're scrolling the YouTube feed. Um, I currently have a poll and there is four games that you can pick from. Um, so there is Stardew Valley and I'll do a random number generator for which farm that I will choose. That's always a nice one, nice and calm. And I can always do another game whilst playing Stardew Valley. Um, cause it is just one of those ones where you just kind of relax. <laughs> uh, we got Persona 5. Um, I have played Persona 5 before. Well, I played all of these games before apart from the medium I haven't played that one so that'll be new for both of us um so persona Stardew Valley persona 5 we've got the medium next which is like a uh, horror essentially and uh, then we've got fire emblem three houses and finishing that off because I was on uh, the blue root and I had almost finished the blue root so we could finish off the blue root and do yellow and red and then that's that that is done and we can go on to fire emblem uh, engage if we want to or we take a break from fire emblem and do a different game and then go back to it it's just like mixing and matching really but um yeah find the poll uh Put your vote towards whatever you uh, want to see me play. Um, I have a lot of horror games, so as we get through all of the games that I want to do, you're probably going to see more and more horror games as a, as we continue. Uh, because that's just the kind of person I am. <laughs> I like a good horror. Uh, we also have a Discord, which you can find through links on my Twitch. Most of the most of my links you can find through Twitch. So if you like, I have YouTube, Instagram, I 
think I've got my Facebook one. So that that is most of them. And I do have a Discord one. Let me just double check. I will just double check that. Um, that's not on mute. Um, okay, hold on. Give me one second. Just share that. Um, okay, yeah. So on Twitch, I have all of my links. Uh, which is in the about section. So I have my Instagram, YouTube, Discord, if you want to join that, my photography page on Facebook. And I have also got like a link, uh, a link tree with all of those links on as well, just to make it a little bit easier. Um, yeah. That is all of the current places where I am at the moment. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, with that, I'm going to end the stream as we are oh, finished with Frambo. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Happy affiliated uh, Twitch stream for me, I guess. Three years now. Doing great. I'm almost at uh, 210 followers is the goal. So let's see if we can try and do that. Uh, anything extra? Great. Wonderful. And anything extra on YouTube? Wonderful. Okay. And um, I hope you all stay squishy, stay fresh, and I'll see you guys another time. Goodbye.